Hi, welcome to the Navnak channel. Today we will be discussing on ventricular arrhythmias. The objectives of this discussion is to understand the etiological factors behind the development of ventricular arrhythmias, the various mechanisms of development of ventricular arrhythmias, some commonly encountered ventricular arrhythmias and their management. So coming to etiological factors, as you can find there are multiple etiological factors which can give rise to ventricular arrhythmias, most important being hypoxemia, hypercarbia, acidosis, hypotension, electrolyte imbalances and hypothermia. So mechanism of development of ventricular arrhythmia includes enhanced normal automaticity, triggered activity, circus movement or the re-entry phenomenon. Coming to the QT interval. The QT interval should ideally be measured in lead 2 or lead V5 and V6. QT interval is defined from the beginning of the QRS to the end of the T wave. There is an entity called as the corrected QT interval which estimates the QT interval at a heart rate of 60 beats per minute. We call it a prolonged QT interval when it exceeds 440 milliseconds in men or 460 milliseconds in women. So there are multiple correction factors for the QT interval, the most common being Bezet's correction. This is the example of the Bezet's correction for the QT interval. Coming to ventricular premature complexes, ventricular premature complexes are ectopic impulses originating in an area distal to the his Purkinje system. So the diagnostic criteria for a VPC is a wide QRS, naturally no preceding P wave. T wave is usually in the opposite direction of the R wave and it is always followed by a compensatory pause. There are multiple ways to describe a VPC. We call it a bigemini when the VPC alternates with the normal beat. A trigemini is when the VPC occurs at every third beat. Quadrigemini is when VPC occurs at every fourth beat. If there are two consecutive VPCs, we call it a couplet. If there are three or more consecutive VPCs, we call it a ventricular tachycardia. They can also be classified as unifocal VPCs or multifocal VPCs. As the name itself indicates, unifocal. So all the VPCs have the same morphology because they occur from a common source or a common foci. Multifocal when VPCs have more than one morphology and they have more than one foci. So the treatment of VPCs is a difficult question. In the absence of a significant structural heart disease, an asymptomatic VPC need not be treated. So if the VPC occurs in your OR, consider treatment if it is multiple that is more than 5 per minute, if it is multifocal, if it is associated with hemodynamic disturbance, if there is coupling or you are dealing with an R on T phenomenon. So the treatment options include lignocaine, esmolol, propranolol, diltiazem, verapamil. So coming to ventricular tachycardia, it is a cardiac arrhythmia having more than three consecutive complexes originating in the ventricles at a rate more than 100 beats per minute. So the characteristics include the rate is 100 to 250 beats per minute. Naturally there is no atrial component, PR interval is absent, QRS is wide and bizarre. There are different types of VT, we call it a sustained VT when the VT lasts more than 30 seconds or requires termination within 30 seconds due to hemodynamic compromise. We call it a non-sustained VT when it lasts less than 30 seconds or it terminates spontaneously. It can also be classified as monomorphic VT which is a stable single QRS morphology from beat to beat or a polymorphic VT when there is changing or multiform QRS morphology from beat to beat. So how do we manage a patient with VT? If the patient is unstable, consider either defibrillation or cardioversion depending on the QRS morphology. If the patient is stable, consider pharmacological management. Coming to the management which, uh, for an unstable patient, the, if the QRS is wide and regular, that is you are dealing with VT with pulse, consider synchronized cardioversion with 100 joules, 200 joules and 360 joules. If your QRS is wide and irregular, consider defibrillation, either 120 and 200 joules if your defibrillator is biphasic or 360 joules if your defibrillator is monophasic. So if, the, if your patient is hemodynamically stable, consider pharmacological management. Pharmacological therapy includes adenosine, 6 mg IV push with flush and 12 mg this is the second dose if your VT is regular and monomorphic. The other options include procainamide, 
20 to 50 milligrams per minute IV till arrhythmia is suppressed or the patient develops hypotension. And other options include imiodarone 150 mg over 10 minutes, repeat as needed. Other options are sotalol 1.5 mg per kg. Torsides de Pontus is a polymorphic VT that occurs in the setting of a long QT interval. The treatment includes removal of the offending agent, pre uh, treatment of the predisposing conditions. Magnesium is the drug of choice for suppressing early after depolarizations. Coming to ventricular fibrillation, these are rapid, grossly irregular electrical activity with marked variability in electrocardiographic waveforms with a ventricular rate usually more than 300 beats per minute. This is an exhaustive uh, ACLS guideline for the management of ventricular fibrillation. We have simplified it. If your patient develops ventricular fibrillation, immediately defibrillate, early defibrillation is recommended and immediately start CPR. Continue for 5 cycles or 2 minutes, assess the rhythm. If it is a shockable rhythm, again defibrillate your patient, continue with CPR, give epinephrine 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes, continue CPR, again after 2 minutes assess the rhythm. If it is a shockable rhythm, shock your patient. Consider amiodarone or magnesium, again continue with your CPR. So this is the management of ventricular fibrillation. You should continue this cycle till you have a return of the spontaneous circulation which is defined by your pulse, blood pressure or arterial pressure waves in case you have an art line. Abrupt sustained increase in ETCO2 more than 40 mm of mercury is also an indicator of return of spontaneous circulation. Thank you.